Welcome everyone, I'm Deronda with Foods 101. Today we're going to the grill. I'm going to show you how to make grilled pork chops. These are absolutely fantastic once you get them marinated and get them cooked to the proper temperature. Now this is what we're going to marinate our pork chops in. We've got a cup of water, a half a cup of vegetable oil, three large garlic cloves that I've minced. It's probably about two tablespoons of minced garlic cloves right here. I've got two tablespoons of brown sugar. You're going to need the fresh juice of one lime, one half of a cup of soy sauce, and three tablespoons of your seasoned salt. Now remember, this is really a brine that we're using to marinate our pork chops in before we put them on the grill. Okay, and then you've got these six lovely, they're about a half inch thick pork chops. Um, if you need to um, remove some fat, which I've removed most of it, go ahead and do that, okay? And I've got them here in a 13 by 9 inch glass pan. All right, now, for the marinade, in a small bowl, you're going to add the water, your oil, that fabulous minced garlic, and make sure you get it all out of there. Don't leave any behind. Your brown sugar. Now the brown sugar is used so when you start grilling your pork chops, you're going to have this lovely um, caramelization starting to happen. Then we've got our soy sauce and your seasoned salt. We're just going to add in. Okay, now for that fresh lime, we're just going to cut it in half like this. Okay. And using this fork, we're going to dig it into our lime. Now, don't worry if you get any seeds in it. And we're going to squeeze that fresh lime right into here. So we have a little acidic going on. All right, do the same with the other half. That looks fantastic. Now, we're going to bring back those pork chops. And we're going to marinate it. Mm, my goodness, if you could smell the garlic and the soy sauce. Oh, my mercies. Does it smell absolutely fantastic? You may want to use a fork. All right, so you can get your, your chops marinating. Okay, you want to lift up those bottom chops to start getting all those flavors married together. Mm-hmm. We're going to cover this with plastic wrap and we're going to put it in the refrigerator and let it marinate for the next two hours. And during that two hours, you may want to get in here with your fork and move your chops around so you can get them all submerged at some point completely under your marinade. Before I add my pork chops to this grill, I always start with a very clean grill. And um, on the grill, I'm going to use a spray to oil the grill here. Now if you want to use oil or if you'd like to take a paper towel and you know oil your grill that's fine too. All right now it's time to crank on this grill. I've had my pork chops and look at those. Ooh, I've had them sitting out of the refrigerator for about 15 minutes because you want them to come to room temperature a little bit before you add them here to the grill. Now the grill is just really super smoking hot. Woo! And that's what you're wanting. We'll try to get them all on here. And the rule of thumb is you don't want your pork chops a half an inch thick to cook any longer than 14 minutes in total. So I'm going to cook about five minutes on this side. I'm going to flip it over, cook it on five minutes on the other side, and we'll see what we've got at that point. Uh, be sure not to move those pork chops around much because you want that charred on the bottom, that charred mark on the bottom of your pork chops there. Now I'll be back in a few minutes. Now I'm going to show you these lovely charred marks we have on the bottom of our pork chops there. Ooh, look how fantastic that is. And you want to toss it about a quarter of a way around. That way you can get these lovely markings here on your chops. Okay, I'm going to turn them for the next two minutes. Now I'm going to give them a lovely little turning and look at that. 
Oh my gosh, these are going to be absolutely delicious. Got a little part stuck there. Whip it over. And if you want to use your heavy duty stainless steel tongs, go ahead and do that. I call these the chef bites. Got them up here on the end of the grill. All right, I'm going to cook these for about five more minutes, but after two, I'm going to turn them about a quarter of a turn so we can get those charred marks on it. It's been exactly 14 minutes, and look how beautiful those turned out. Now, the rule of thumb is when you take them off the grill, you put them over here on a clean plate. You don't want to cross-contaminate your raw meat with your cooked meat. All right, now we'll let these sit for about 10 minutes and I usually cover them during that time. All right, and look at these little chef bites. Oh yeah, I'm gonna dig into those really, really soon. We'll let these sit for 10 minutes and I'll be back to try them and let you know what they taste like. Now, I've let these sit for about 10 minutes and my goodness, look how beautiful those are. I've let them sit covered. Yeah, I'm gonna be informal. I'm just going to tear it apart and show you what it's like on the inside. Now, if you're looking for an internal temperature on this, it's 145 degrees Fahrenheit. And here, i got to give it a try. Mmm. Perfectly marinated. The perfect seasoning. Mmm. A little hint of that lime juice. Mmm. The soy that seasons it just perfectly and that seasoned spice. Hey y'all, this is a win-win. Get outside and start grilling your chops before the cold weather starts settling in. I'm Deronda with Foods 101. Leave me a comment, give me a thumbs up, and I'll catch you next time.